Dave Delgado here for his home with me today. Tom Akagami, we're here to talk about the Run to 21 Challenge. The event is going to be held from now through the end of the year. Uh, registration ongoing. Let's talk about how the event was put together first. The crew from Uproar, Ryan, Paul Claros, and uh, Eli Monge reached out to me to, um, I guess, tackle a challenge that they had putting together a virtual event. And uh, with the resources I have as a, an experienced race director, I was able to put together this, um, this virtual challenge. A first time for Guam, a very uh, intuitive and user-friendly uh, platform for uh, participants. And Eli Monge, being an avid runner, wanted to get on board with an event to get residents on island active and healthy. And instead of waiting for the end of the year to start a New Year's resolution, uh, residents can get involved now, heading to the new year already with a workout routine and active, both healthy as far as, you know, the mind and the body's concerned. You know, he had this thing about... Uh being prepared you know not waiting till january for a new year's resolution and that was basically the the mantra of getting this going and um i believe you know right now we're doing it because um of the whole covid situation but this looks like it might become an annual thing so this year is the run to 21 because we're running away from 2020 into 2021 and then uh next year will be run to 22. The challenge is set for beginners all the way to advanced uh, competitors. The distance is uh, 100, 200, and 300 miles. It can be done indoors, outdoors, but you don't want to have anybody feel discouraged about this because it's something that's not going to be done overnight. Not at all. You know, it's about, it's about discipline and consistency. You know, it's about mental toughness for sure. You got to be uh, pretty dedicated to, to clock in those miles, you know, 100 miles which is not much, actually, if you think about it. You could do 100 miles in two months. It's no problem. I mean, I'm actually, I'm actually participating in a 200-mile uh, challenge myself. I just finished a four-mile run today. So I'm going to consistently you know, try to, to get, try to get 20 miles in a week and complete my challenge before the end of the year. But, yeah, it's, it's totally open to beginners all the way to, to, to the, your, your advanced runners, your seasonal runners. Um, beginners, you could just walk. You know, just go out to the park, walk, put in some distance or get on a treadmill, uh, put in some distance. Or even if you're on a family hike to one of these, you know, beautiful, um, any of these trails, you could, you know, just record your miles on a GPS device. Um, don't worry about the time. It's not a race. This is a challenge. You're challenging yourself. This is not a race that, you know, we're not going to award anybody who gets the fastest time or the, the longest distance in, in the fastest time. So you don't need to worry about everybody else. You just need to worry about what you're doing and you completing your goal. So we opened up the registration on October 10th. So if you've been, you know, walking and running or putting in some miles and you're just catching wind of this virtual challenge now, you could, you could register now and, back, you know, go back and input those, uh, the miles that you've already done. The website is definitely helpful as far as information. You have CDC stuff. You have... Uh, tips that are going to be able to keep these participants uh, safe while they're doing their distances? Yeah, some basic tips, you know, um, some basic um, information that you, might, you just find all in one place. So the website is run2challenge.com. That's run, T-O, not number two. So run2challenge.com. And um, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll find the CDC guidelines to kind of keep yourself, you know, aware of, you know, social distancing rules. And, um, of course, runner safety, you know? Well, let's talk about that swag bag and the medals that you guys have designed for this year's uh, challenge. So, as always, Trench Challenge, always doing up the, the finisher shirts. And we've got a high-performance um, Polytech uh, shirt available for all the finishers. Sizes extra small, all the way up to 3XL. All right, so... And these shirts and the medals are going to be, um, they're going to be uh, only available uh, through, I mean, so you reserve your sizes by, so if you don't register, you're not going to get your size. It's, it's made to order, basically. So register early, get your sizes in. Um, and as far as the medals go, it's a very special medal that we designed for this event. And um, 
we wanted to, you know, commemorate the three distances, not by giving away three different medals, but, you know, it's a culmination of all those miles combined if you do the 300 milers. So uh, the design is uh, you're, if you do the 100 mile distance, you get a medal, you get a 100 mile medal with the ribbon. And then if you complete the 200 mile, or if you're entered for the 200 mile, you get the 100 plus a 200 mile medal that clips on to the 100 uh, mile medal. And then if you do the 300, it clips onto both. So you get three medals, a big medal combined. If you do the 300, you get a medium size when you do the 200. And then of course you get the, the base 100 by just doing the 100. Of course, and um, all the, the digital stuff too that's uh, available with the, the kit is uh, a virtual runner's bib. It's gonna be customized with your name on it and a, a bib number assigned to you. Uh, you can print that out when, anytime you like, and you can do that all on the website. And then when you finish the event, you're gonna get a uh, finisher certificate. And this year's beneficiary, uh, Special Olympics Guam. And you know the stations at KUM, as well as Trench Challenge, always partnering up with Special Olympics Guam for uh, events. Um, this year has been tough for the organization. Numerous uh, events been canceled. Uh, relationships built and because the organization relies heavy on community support and volunteers so this will definitely help uh, with them heading into the new year yeah our beneficiary um, as always has been Special Olympics uh, we, we pride ourselves in supporting that organization because they are um, Gosh, I mean, their their membership is based on all volunteers. You know, none of them collect a salary. A hundred percent of all the the donations and proceeds that, that go to them go to stay on Guam and for the uh, for the organization and athletes themselves. So, um, we're very proud to to support that group. 